What's up guys? So today we are taking off the shifter in my car because since I have a 92 WRX, versions I think one through four, so from 92 to 96, our shifter linkage is actually different. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but I'm saying this because I cannot find a short shifter that works for my car. So I was in the Nauseac forums and I figured out how to make a custom short shifter. So we're going to start by taking off the shifter and I'll show you how to do that. As you guys can tell, I've already taken out the center console. Very simple, only like four bolts. The only two you have to worry about, which I didn't know, was there are two back here behind the cup holder. Don't pull out the trimming until you get these out. But first, we're going to take out six bolts right here because we have to remove the rubber in order to take the shifter out completely. There were actually two more bolts here and here that I had to undo, but now I'm going to undo this and then take all this out together. As you can see, this is also very rusty. So, before I go putting it back in, definitely gonna polish this up because I don't want my car seeming janky. Next thing you wanna do is lift up this rubber. It just comes right up, same on this side. Now you see the exposed ball joint in there. So that joint you wanna pop out. And I saw, in order to do that, just get some leverage, pop this out. Oh, shit. So, there's actually a little C-clamp. The ball of the shifter sits in this piece. They have one of these C-rings that holds it in place. Luckily, my dad had this tool. I don't even know what it's called, but that's what you need to get this piece out and then you just get some leverage and pull it. I just pulled the lever straight up. This came out with it. Make sure you have the O-rings. Make sure you hold on to this. But this was the only pain in the ass. Otherwise, what? Eight bolts, then take off this, and then just pull it straight out. Next thing I have to do is bring the shifter to my friend's house, cut off the old bracket, clean it up, and then after school tomorrow, I'll bring it to my dad's friend's shop who's gonna make this custom short shifter for me so i'll take you guys along for the ride next stop my friend mark's house so there's a change of plans i'm not going to mark's house this is also the next day i am going straight to my dad's friend who's gonna help me weld this so let's get to it So it's done. As you can tell, the welds are beautiful as expected. So that's a little less than a quarter inch higher. And then we took a quarter inch out of the top as well. So it's gonna be shorter in height and the throws should be shorter. So next thing to do, just throw it back in the car the same way you took it out. Um, another thing, the piece you have to trim when you typically do short shifters in Subarus, right here, this used to be cut on an angle, but now it looks like one whole open piece. So I'm gonna sand this down before I throw it back in and then throw the short, shift, short shifter in, see how it feels.
back in. Looking good. Even put the little ring on here to hold the rubber besides that. Next is to put that guy back on. Not only was it rusty and I filed it down, but I painted it to keep it from rusting again. So I'll throw that thing in too. Take a look at these throws. Huge difference. It's first, second. Wow. Fuck. 